Hey guys, so I finally bit the bullet after a lot of contemplation around the Peloton. Making an investment into something that's $3,000 is not easy. As a matter of fact, it took a lot of research, talking to people, trying out the bike, and then finally biting the bullet. And overall, I have to say, they've done a great job in throwing a bunch of marketing at it and getting people excited. My overall impression though, is I am quite happy with the bike and its capabilities. I just wish it had some smarter capabilities. Now don't get me wrong, I am a very big fan of the Peloton. Though after spending over $3,000, I asked myself, why couldn't we make this device a little bit more smarter? I mean, I can take something like a $50 switch behind me and say something like, Alexa, turn on basement bar lights. And generally speaking, okay. bar lights in the back go on as such. Now, I'm also gonna admit that I have a bit of an obsession. I'm a big home automation enthusiast. This entire house, including every single floor and every single room, has some form of automation built in. I actually took this basement, which was a builder's basement and it had nothing but insulation and some very, very rough framing. And I actually built this into the basement of my dream. And with that, I actually added in a whole bunch of home automation. So when I introduced the Peloton bike to my basement, I said, wait a minute, I need to make sure that there's some form of automation with this as well. So then I asked myself, why can't I take a device like the Amazon Alexa or Google Home or even something like Siri and ask for things of my Peloton? Now, when I reached out to Peloton and I said, hey guys, do you have some kind of official documentation around an API or something where either developers or your own developers have already thought about something like this? And the answer that I got back right now is it wasn't definitive as if they actually had a full blown solution yet. So I went ahead, I did some research online, I created my own automation scripts, I created my own APIs with full authentication, and then I actually went ahead and created my own Amazon Alexa skill. So I'm able to do things like this. Hey Alexa, open my Peloton. Welcome Peloton user, how can I help you? Tell me about my last workout. Hi Sots. Your last workout was the 20 minutes heat ride with Robin Arzone on Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. You burned a total of 133.0 kilojoules and 374 kilocalories. Now that may not sound like a lot, but at the same time, I'm also a beginner. But slowly, I will get there. Now, I think I'm gonna turn those off because I like it better when they're not on. Alexa, turn off basement bar lights. Okay. Perfect. I'll also say that I have a very busy professional career, but at the same time, I have a very, very busy personal lifestyle as well. I've got three very young children and I love optimizing my time with them. So when I come home, I generally take my phone and chuck it to the side and just try to spend as much as time as I can with them. Though there are those off days where I have enough energy by the end of the day to actually want to do a live class, but I don't want to go to my phone and actually check when that next live is happening. So I can do something like this. Hey Alexa, open my Peloton. Welcome Peloton user, how can I help you? When is the next cycling class? The next cycling class is the 30 minutes intervals ride on Monday, January 6th, 2020 at 1am. It no. is taught by Sam Yo. So I'm putting this in front of you to show that it's the 30 minute ride, it is taught by Sam Yo, and it's at 1 o'clock. I apologize if this was a little bit blurry. Now I find all of the Peloton instructors to be pretty good, but there are certain instructors that I like to ride with on certain days. I find Robin Arzon and Cody Rigsby pretty good instructors. So I'm gonna ask Alexa when the next cycling class is by a certain instructor and then ask her to schedule me in that next live class. So here we go. Hey Alexa, open my Peloton. Welcome Peloton user, how can I help you? When is the next cycling class taught by Cody Rigsby? The next cycling class talk by Cody Rigsby is the 30 minutes pop ride on Tuesday, January 7th, 2020 at 11.30 a.m. Alexa, enroll me in this class. Do you want me to enroll you in this class? Yes. Okay, you are all set. All right, I so have enrolled you in the 30 minutes pop ride. Alexa, off. Alright, so I'm actually enrolled in this class, but I need to go ahead and refresh this. So I'm just going to close this out, close out the Peloton, mm -hmm. I'm going to open up the app again. Right there, so it's opening up. And now when I go down to schedule, 
and I scroll up, you will notice that on that Tuesday class, which is coming up right there, I'm actually enrolled in that class with Cody Rigsby. So not only now can Alexa do things like tell me when the next class is, it can even tell me by discipline. I can even ask her when the next yoga class is, for example. So let's give that a shot actually. So I've got all my yoga classes open here and I'm gonna ask Alexa when the next class is by Aditi and we'll ask when the next one's by Ray Ross, Ross as well. So let's do this. Alexa, open my Peloton. Welcome Peloton user, how can I help you? When is the next yoga class by Aditi Shah? The next yoga class taught by Aditi Shah is the 30 minutes yoga flow on Monday, January 6, 2020 at 8 a.m. Alexa, when is the next yoga class taught by Ross Rayburn? The next yoga class taught by Ross Rayburn is the 30 minutes yoga flow on Monday, January 6, 2020 at 6 p.m. So there you go. I mean, these are the kind of the cool things that you can do when you have access to data. Which brings me to my next point. This whole initiative really wasn't about making Alexa work with the Peloton. This initiative really for me is about how do I take all the different health platforms that are out there that I'm on at least part of, including things like Apple Watch or Peloton or Strava or MyFitnessPal and integrating this information together and creating some kind of a machine learning model that's gonna allow me to take all this information and recommend to me what class I should be taking and when I should be taking it to optimize on strength, cardio, and all that other kind of fun stuff. Now I am working on a prototype and when that prototype is ready, I will be sure to let you guys know. But for now, if you did like this video and you helped me get this video to 1000 likes, I'm gonna take a version of this assistant and actually get it up on the Amazon store. And I see a version of this because it's more so the way that the Amazon Alexa and the Peloton authentication protocols work today. They need to work in a different format. And once sort of Peloton has that ready, then we can actually take your information, allow you to opt in and see whether or not you want it to be analyzed or not. And so if you like this video, guys, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.